the Biomodel Analyzer tool is designed to help biologists understand biological networks. For example, it can help you identify what kind of interactions between genes and proteins make a cancer cell. So what makes the BMA tool a unique is the fact that it can help us make sense of this huge complexity that is hidden in these biological networks. If we can get a glimpse into what's going on inside the cell, um, if we can identify what kind of program or algorithm is running inside a cell, let's say a cancer cell, we can try and trace the set of instructions that make that cell behave in a certain way, for example, divide or die. And in the context of a, a disease cell like a cancer cell, we can try and figure out what leads a healthy cell to become cancerous. It's an experimental system. It allows a biologist to sort of approach the biological system, tweak things here and there. And so the way the tool's been designed um, on the computer is that variables can be manipulated, adjusted, the algorithms and the codes and functions that connect one sort of variable in a biological system to another can be just adjusted that tiny bit and then the system is run. All you have to do is press a button on the screen and it comes back with an answer within a few seconds. Uh, you don't need to be a computer programmer to do the hands-on analysis here. It is just like using PowerPoint or Word or Excel, but you can do very sophisticated uh, analysis uh, of things that are staggeringly complex. So it opens up the floor to ask completely new biological questions that we couldn't tackle before. And it also more recently uh, allowed us to start thinking about how we can use that also in the space of drug discovery. These kinds of computational methods will become an everyday technique in every lab. And my own personal uh, hope for the BMA is that it will become such a tool that will be used on a, on a daily basis in, in, in biological and medical research, allowed to do very complicated analysis, allowed to do modeling hands-on by experimental biologists and even clinicians that are doing biological research.